Hello and welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester and in this episode we'll be answering the question, what is data analytics? I'm joined today by Tyson Souter, the Global Business Development Manager for Digitalization at Siemens Smart Infrastructure. Tyson, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Let's answer the first question, the simple one. Mm -hmm. What is data analytics? So I think within our industry, it's a term that's used quite commonly. Um, if you look outside of the building technology or smart infrastructure space, it's used in everything. For everything that we do online, there's analytics around it. Every movie we watch online, they're measuring everything we do. So it's about capturing data and using that data to be able to identify patterns, look for opportunities, and evaluate large sums of data. What we do in the building industry is a little bit different. So our traditionally, traditionally we'll look at data and say, okay, what's a fault? What's an alarm? What's a point in time problem? And we can do that quite well already with ex existing systems mm. and, and even modern solutions. Mm. But what analytics does is it provides a lot more context to problems. So it can allow us to look at large sums of data across large periods of time to be able to look at historical behavior or to look at future behavior and be able to predict or evaluate performance or improvements for a building situation. Okay, so data analytics is something that we see in everyday life, mm -hmm. but in our industry in particular, this is about us looking at data in a more holistic manner and looking using the history and also uh, what we collect on a daily basis to make some decisions. I, I, I totally agree. And I think it's not just by saying, oh, we want to use data to replace roles or labor. It's very much about saying, how can we make better decisions using data? So it's, it's a relationship between people and technology. So it's, it's, it's digitalizing engineers experience and, and technicians experience, but then e evaluating large sums of data and saying, great, now we have all this information, what can we do with it? Like how can we improve our operations? So grabbing that data and actually using it to back up decisions or giving us more information so we can make better decisions uh, at the time when it's mostly required. Exactly, and it, it builds transparency between uh, customer and contractor or customer and, and building owner, whoever it is, the data doesn't lie. So we can capture the data, present the data, and then work towards fixing the problems while you know, representing how we've done it. So this allows us to be able to have like an end-to-end -end solution from identification to completion into review. And that is all visible to everyone in, in, inside the building or even outside the building. Amazing. You mentioned something there, transparency. So, mm -hmm. so this, this is using data to peel back the covers or, or enable us to see some things that maybe we wouldn't be able to see uh, from a personal perspective. Definitely. So we're not, we're not changing the laws of physics. We're not changing uh, the, we're not, we're not finding new issues. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing is making it so it's scalable. Um, we're, we're, we're capturing huge amounts of data and saying, how can we find these issues whenever they occur, even when we're not on site? Even when we're not getting huge amounts of uh, money or labor or time to find these issues, how can we use the data to make the processes within a building much more efficient? Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us here on Buildings of Tomorrow. Please feel free to comment, like, or share this episode, and also ensure to subscribe to us here on this channel. We'll see you again soon.